Happy five years, YouTube. Thanks for all your great videos and just everything about you is just totally awesome. Reza Denmark, it's Tuesday. In just a little bit, I'm going to head out to the doctor. I have to go get my cholesterol checked. And then after that, I'm going to have her take a look at my toenail. Oh. So you can see what the problem is. You guys remember on Sunday's video when I showed you that condom store? It must be really awkward to be an employee there. Just think of some of the questions that you get when people come in there. Hi, yes, it's our anniversary night. And I need something that fits not too snug, but just a little loose on the side. Or something along the lines of, Yes, do you have this in extra, extra large? Or it just could be plain awkward if somebody came in with a refund and it goes along the lines of something like this. Yeah, well, you see, I, uh, I bought it yesterday and uh, tried it out. And for some odd reason, my wife's in the hospital. Can I get a refund on this? I'm just throwing that out there. That's got to be weird for one of the employees to come along the lines of these type of customers. But I guess they're experienced at what they do and what they know. I got to admit something to you guys. When I was a little bit right around the age of 15 to about 20, I used to be all up in the wrestling. I remember people like Vince McMahon, <laughs> The Rock, <laughs> and Triple H. <laughs> now that I'm a little bit older and I'm breaking that 3-0 mark, <laughs> every once in a while when I check it out on TV, I have to sit back and laugh just because of the soap opera-like talk and some of the things that these guys do. If it was real wrestling, believe me, there wouldn't be any chair shots. There'd probably be some pistols and some knives coming out. I had an old friend send me a link to this here. One wrestler was whooping up on another wrestler, and his kid was there, so he decided to let his feelings be heard. It just so happened the wrestler heard him and gave him a quick response back. Well, my time's almost up. I'm just about to walk out of the door and get ready to go to the doctor. So uh, if you want to just hang out a little bit, you can. It's funny again, guys. She's bitching about she put up another sign that she's got another scratch on her car. Dumb people, they just don't learn, do they? Next appointment went really well. Uh, my sugar level, you know, when they prick your finger, that was really well. I have to go back Monday to get my toenail removed, so that's the bad news. And then that following week, I find out my cholesterol. So all in all, good day. And I'm back from the doctor, so of course you know the good news, and of course you know the bad news. Uh, but I'm kind of scrambling right now to get ready to go out of the door, so I leave you with this little itty bitty vid right here. You can check this out when you get a chance. Click it, that one right there. I just want to say, why do people insist on screwing around with animals? This kid deserved what he got coming to you. I'm just going to leave it at that. Guys, have a great day. Make it a productive day. VC's Denmark. As I had my toe looked at, it's going to be taken off Monday.